Welcome to Navy Jobs Unlocked, a series talking about every enlisted job in the U.S. Navy. This video is all about the Engineman rate. In order to qualify for Engineman, you need these ASVAB scores. Every ship in the Navy moves because of one thing, power. And one of the rates behind that power is Engineman. Today we're diving into what it's really like to be an Engineman in the United States Navy. The Engineman rating, or EN, is one of the rates that have been around since World War II, and it's still an essential role in the United States Navy. Engineman are primarily diesel mechanics. If it turns, burns, pumps, or moves fuel, water, or air, chances are there's an engineman behind it keeping it running. There's only a few thousand engineman in the Navy today, so it's become more of a specialized career field. Engineman maintain all kinds of equipment from diesel engines to auxiliary equipment. You can use diesel engines for all kinds of stuff. Uh, primarily, these days you mainly see diesel engines in small boats and generators. However, there are still ships in the fleet that require diesel engines for propulsion. This was my first job in the Navy, so I was on a ship that was primarily diesel propulsion, the USS Fort McHenry. Now, I spent some time in the main spaces, which is the primary areas for the main engines. Everything outside of that, though, is controlled by A-Gang, which is where I spent the majority of my tour of duty on the Fort McHenry. In A-Gang, we were in charge of the air conditioning systems, the refrigeration units, the small boat engines, the hydraulic systems for aft steering, even the hydraulic systems for lowering and raising the chain to anchor. A big part of that job is watch stations, so you'd have to stay in engine room watch, monitoring the gauges, pressures, and temperatures. You also have to do maintenance, tear down of the pumps, replacing seals, changing filters, taking oil samples. You'd also have to change the heads and do maintenance on the engines, the main engines, if you're on a ship that has the main engine propulsion system or diesel. Not only do engine men have to work on these things, but they also have to be a part of the firefighting units, the flood response teams, casualty control, especially in the engine rooms. So if you like working in 120 degree heat and sweating through your coveralls, Engineman might be for you. To become an Engineman, you'll have to go to A school in Great Lakes. Now, it wasn't like this when I went through A school. They had some stupid program where they did the school through the computers and we had a total of three days of training. But from what I know, they've broken away from that terrible system and gone back to the old school way of training. So now at A school, you'll get hands-on experience with diesel engines, hydraulic systems, and auxiliary systems. And to go to C schools, which are the schools for your advanced opportunities, you can go to schools for refrigeration, hydraulics, or small craft engines. Now life as an engineman isn't the most glamorous. You find yourself in very tight spaces to get access to equipment that you need to do maintenance on or have to constantly wipe up oil from the area in order to keep the space clean. The engine rooms are always noisy. You have to wear double hearing protection, which is one in ears and one over ears. But without this type of work, none of our ships will be able to operate. You have to have air conditioning systems, for example, to run combat systems. Because if those computers overheat, then nothing can run. A great part of this job is that a lot of these skills transfer over to the civilian sector. You could get work being a diesel mechanic, being an HVAC technician, being a hydraulic specialist, or even a power plant operator. Plus, engine men often get certifications during service that make them more competitive in the job market after the Navy. For instance, when I went to air conditioning and refrigeration school, I also got EPA certified so I can work on units outside of the Navy. Whether it's cranking diesel engines, keeping the refrigeration systems running, or making sure the hydraulics don't quit on you, engine men are the unsung heroes of the fleet. If you're the kind of person who loves working with your hands, solving problems under pressure, and doesn't mind getting a little dirty, Engineman might just be the job for you. It was not for me. Thank you for watching this summary of the Engineman rate in the Navy. If you enjoy learning about the Navy and naval history, please like and subscribe. 